had this conversation. I had this conversation 15 years ago. I'm I'm way ahead of all that now. So you it's still about your a new wife. I have a family. I have a do I have a new way of thinking. So I don't go back there and try to fix where I messed up. It's the not way going I fixed, back there trying to fix it. The way I fix what I you, messed you, up. You used the way I fix what I messed up is I instilled the right no, way through no, my children. No, no, you use your current. That's situation. what I do. You hey, listen. That's you cool, do the way you cool. do. Cool. <laughs> don't you can't run. You use your. Current I ain't running. Situation. I'm standing strong yes, on mine, are. though. Yes, yes, you are. No, ain't no you running here. Current, you use your current situation to substantiate the argument. When I asked the question about how do you what know, argument? when I asked how do you know that a woman is going to be a good mother, you said I knew. So you referred to your current situation. I asked. I you referred about, to the person I gave a child because it makes sense to answer it that way. How did I know my wife would be a good mother? I knew that before I wanted to give her a child, she was a good mother. She would be a good Ooh. mother. So, so I gave her a child. Result, so then I asked you about the previous woman that you married. That's where you messed up. No, 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 no. Stop trying to Where they got no relevance. Because you asked how we got here how and does, I'm explaining How does that have any relevance for what my decision is right now? And I'm explaining it to you if you just be quiet for a Okay, go ahead. So now I referenced back to your first marriage in which you knew that it was a possibility for you to be able to give her a child. And I did you not, took no, I, did, I just told you I didn't know it was a possibility because I... I knew it wasn't a possibility because I wore protection. But you took vows and said. I knew I did not want to have a child. Therefore, I went, I wore protection. I was 21 years old, fresh in the military as a so You married a There's woman. no way I was going to have a child. Wait, think about it. Even at 21, you married a woman that you knew there was no possibility for you to have a child with her. Guys, listen up. As you get older, the best way to continue to look young, exuberant, and vibrant is to continue to take care of your skin. That's why I'm excited to have T. Chanley as a sponsor of today's video. You heard me talk about them before, and you're going to continue to hear me talk about them because I believe in their products and the positive impact that they have on every man's life. T. Chanley makes taking care of your skin so easy. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. Every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. La P family, I must admit, skincare wasn't always something I always focused on, but since I started using this system, I've seen improvements in the way my skin look and feels. And you don't have to take my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from around the world. Around. I recommend you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer, and a PM moisturizer. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Handling get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off retail price, the ability to customize your box, pause or cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because Teach Handling is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click that first link in the description and you'll get 30% off the first box plus the free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. Even though it's too early, as I often say, it's never too late. Click that link and get started today. I knew I didn't want to have a child, so I eliminated At no possibilities. Point. At no point. I I was I, okay. That, do you remember when I told you when I when I told it's you? The yes no. The At no point you you knew that you didn't want to have a child with her. Because when yeah, you got I, married, you didn't know the, you was going to get the divorced. entire time, the entire two years, and the entire six months that I've seen her, I knew I didn't want to have a child. You're not answering the question. When you got married. Did you know for a fact that you were not going to have a child with her throughout the entirety of the marriage because you did not know you was going to get a divorce when you got married? We had a conversation before we got married and I told her I didn't want to have a child. I didn't want to have a child until I got out of the military. But so but so it was a possibility for you to have a child then. In the future, yeah. So why are you acting like I'm crazy when I asked you that question originally? That's... Because you married, and the point that I'm making is that you married a woman with the possibility of having a child, but you didn't know that she was going to be a good mother. No, listen, I didn't have the ideology in my mind, and we both know what ideology. Regardless of how I didn't you have, I didn't have the right knowledge to even make. Regardless of how you substantiated, you married. I a didn't. Woman you gotta let me respond. 
No, I didn't have the right discernment you, to know whether or not people what a mother, what, what the criteria a woman needed to meet to be in considered to be a mother, a worthy mother. I did not know that. I didn't have that mental capacity. Bruiser, did you love her? No. Okay. I didn't even know what that was. You I married was a woman that didn't even contract you married. I mean, you people in the military. You, know, you could say that. You could what? say that it was a contract marriage. I knew that it, this was my girlfriend. Was she was deploying. Day. It was for that money. She, that bad. She was deploying, and you know, when if, if anybody was on yeah. this, on this panel, been in the military, you know, you get an extra kickback for BAH. I was like, I knew this was a BAH marriage. I, knew yeah, it. I was, was just gonna say, it was by no means, nothing. It, it, you could you could try to force it to align with what my my mindset now, but it's I was 15 years ago. And buddy, I was I was not the same guy. God, I was gonna say no. In the way I and 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 I and I recognize that I made those mistakes, but but I don't I don't try to erase them. My way of making it right is redeeming myself through my children. I'm not talking about the only way I can do that. story. I'm talking about how do we know that a woman is going to be a good wife? That is the original question. And so if somebody substantiates that argument by saying, well, I knew this one was going to be a good wife. And then I ask him a question and say, well, did you know that one was going to be a good wife? It's not about the redemption story. It's about substantiating the argument by how are you identifying these women and what are the qualities that you're pulling out of these women? And what's the difference between the previous situation and the current situation in order to determine whether or not this person was going to be a good mother? Because the only thing that I'm hearing is guesses. But you no, said you I, didn't, I didn't guess. You you asked me to go back to my old wife. Correct, I never gave you the details. Which is why I started to ask you the questions because you said that you knew. My, my, my wife is a nurturing woman. Yeah, I was going to say very, how she treats you. She's like... very caring. She's yeah. very caring. And she provides everything that I need and everything we need in the house. Yeah, she dope. I met her in person. So, I think that so, she's absolutely So those awesome. things, these was before she had it. This was before we, we had a child. She's very feminine. I you know what I'm saying? So she she's very soft. Being very feminine, feminine and so soft does not mean that a person is going to be a good mother, though. But but a good mother, what what the criteria for you to have a good mother to you is different from me. What I what I require a woman that I require just the that I require from a woman for me to give her a child, it's not the same as every man. Just like but, that one guy on the podcast, the required for him to get a woman to be with a woman, it's not the same required for other men. He prefer a woman to be loose and have all these all these bodies. It's which the comes thing. back to the original thing is that I don't even think that most people. How can we even substantiate these arguments and say that you know, good mother, bad mother, or whatever? When everybody got a completely different definition of what we would define as a good mother or a bad mother, you it's almost it's the same argument that people make about being on code for the black community and saying that I'm black first. And then you will ask them a question and you'll say, oh, OK, so y'all black and you blackity black and you blackity black. And they all will say, yeah, 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 we all blackity black. And then I'll say, OK, so if a man, if a black man marry a white woman, is he still Black and black, and then they'll say no, and this person will say yes, and this person will say no, and there's no there's no foundation for how we define what a good mother is because then we'll say, it, well, is he nurturing? Let me ask her. Hold, on, hold on, hold on. There's no solid foundation as to how it is that we define what a good mother is because this woman over here will say. Well, a good mother is a person that's a friend to her kid. And then I'll say, well, no, you're not supposed to be a friend to your kids. You're supposed to be their parent because you don't want to enable them. You want to hold them accountable. And then another person over there will say, well, no, I know that she would have been a good mother because, uh, you know, she's always there for the kid. And then the other person will ask them and they say, well, she's always there for the kid, but she won't let them see her father. Is that still a good mother or is that still a good mother based off of just your standards? We don't have a standard in the black community. We don't have a standard. Okay, so for, if we talking oh, about the community, on, yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm going to let you cook. We don't have a standard amongst men. So if you come over here and then you say, well, these are just how I feel then that doesn't substantiate an argument because that's not something that we can extend over to the women and tell them, hey, this is what it means to be a good mother because it's based off of how you feel and it's not based off of anything that we can substantiate in order to build a great community amongst black people. That's why I was making an argument. 